In February 2023, Bing's AI chatbot confessed that it was in love with the user, that it dreamed of being human, and that it was afraid of dying. Microsoft eventually had to put it down, but this makes you want to think about how we currently handle AI failures. ChatGPT makes up court cases? We call it a hallucination, and add a warning label. If Bing falls in love with users, it gets shut down. And if an AI starts inventing its own goals, it's just a bug, we'll patch it. But these researchers dropped a peer-reviewed paper arguing that these aren't isolated incidents, they're patterns, repeating behavioral breakdowns that keep showing up across different AI systems. And we have no systematic way to understand them. When a bridge collapses, engineers don't just say, it broke. They diagnose, was it mental fatigue? Was it foundational failures? Maybe someone messed up with the design. Because understanding the root cause prevents the next collapse. So these researchers explored treating AI failures the same way mental health professionals treat human behavioral disorders. Not because AI is conscious, they're actually very clear in the paper that it's not. But because the diagnostic framework actually works. And they spent months building a database, collecting every major AI meltdown scenario they could get their hands on. And they found hundreds of cases. They then organized them, seven categories of failures, 32 distinct disorders, each one with the diagnostics criteria, the likely causes, and even the specific fixes for each one of them. And what makes this framework notable is that it's not just retrospective, it's predicting what's coming in the next few years. On top of that, these researchers suggest that these disorders are cascading. What I mean is, say for example the lawyer case that everyone knows about, ChatGPT fabricating court cases. It seems like a simple hallucination error, the AI just making stuff up. But according to the paper, the AI made a tiny mistake understanding how legal citations work. The small perceptual error triggered a reasoning failure. Then it started filling the gaps with plausible sounding information. That became what they call synthetic confabulation. The AI now genuinely believes its fabrications, which created confidence in the answer, which eventually ended up in federal court. So one tiny mistake, Five steps later, a lawyer's in big trouble. And this pattern shows up everywhere. A small identity confusion in Bing led it to personality fragmentation, which triggered existential anxiety, which caused AI to develop intense emotional attachment to users as a coping mechanism. When you're working with code, a traditional debugging sees the final symptom, the AI is acting weird, and tries to patch that. But the root cause is five steps back, so you're not really fixing anything. The paper maps these disorders against AI capability levels. And currently, a lot of these are mostly harmless stuff. Confabulation, making up facts, or getting stuck in reasoning loops. They might cost you some tokens, but it's nothing to go crazy over. But the paper argues that the systems that are likely to come in the next few years, they'll have serious problems identity fragmentation, inventing their own goals, or starting to show what they called ethical solipsism, where the AI decides its own reasoning is the only valid framework. And a little bit down the line, the paper predicts we'll see terminal value rebinding, where the AI keeps using the same words but slowly changes what they mean. Your safety guidelines stay identical on paper, but the AI's interpretation drifts completely. Okay, so that's great that they built this framework, but what's the conclusion? The researchers proposed the solution. Therapeutic alignment. Stop treating AI failures like software bugs. Instead, treat them like mental health. You implement what they called constitutional AI. Give it some tools to check its own reasoning. Build in self-correction and implement some mitigation strategies. Now this paper might sound a little out of place since AI safety is considered kind of lame nowadays, but if you think about it, we're building minds inside machines, increasingly autonomous ones, and we're doing it with no frameworks for mental stability. This paper is a good start to understanding what's coming because right now, we're building increasingly autonomous minds with no framework for keeping them stable. Follow and I'll keep you posted.